Hello and welcome, this is Sivan Etler, your sales and applications engineer for optical reflective encoder ICs here at IC House. Today I'd like to talk about smart position sensing, uh, focusing on applications in automation and robotics. So, in summer this year, we went in serious production with the latest addition to our optical reflective encoder IC family, the high resolution and absolute IZPZ series. So here you can see some of the features we have integrated in the chip due to market feedback received. And in the next couple of minutes, I'd like to pick a few of those that are really essential for applications in automation and robotics. So first I'd like to talk about system setup. Due to the reflective sensor technology, the system provides huge assembly tolerances. So we have in detail, plus minus 500 microns in tangential direction, we have plus minus 400 microns in radial direction, and we have plus minus two degrees in tilt. And besides, the system is quite flexible in air gap. And this is due to the integrated LED power control that ensures that the light intensity is always matching the sensitivity of the photodiodes. So after mechanically setting up the system, all you need to do is start the on-chip auto calibration features. And there we have an analog auto calibration that compensates for offset, amplitude and phase error of the analog signals. So that the integrated 14-bit interpolator will always be fed with highest signal quality. And on top, we have something that we call digital auto calibration. And that compensates for misalignment or phase error of the incremental and the absolute track so that the system is working as an ideal position. Last but not least, every encoder builder will be aware of that issue is the long wave eccentricity error that is caused by radial runout of the target. And we have integrated a digital algorithm that compensates for up to 95% of that error. So after mechanically setting up the system and then starting or then executing the auto calibration features, you'd like to do something with your precise measurement output signals. And therefore we have integrated a bunch of interfaces. We have three output ports available, port A, B and C, that are configured via config pins. And you can route three out of those five interfaces onto the output ports so we have the analog sine and cosine, we have the incremental A, B and Z for motor feedback signals, then we have the commutation signals U, V, W, then of course we have serial interfaces, our BIS interface with the SSI part included and the SPI interface to connect to a microcontroller. Besides the, those output ports, we do have two master interfaces integrated and the I2C master is not only used to write and read data uh, to and from an EEPROM, but can also be used to communicate with external sensors. Then of course we have our absolute data interface that can be used or that is used to build up multi-turn systems, for example with our ICMV, ICLV or ICPVL. Then last but not least for the interfaces, not shown in the block diagram here, simply because it's on the other side of the block diagram, we have included two general purpose input output pins that can be used for alarm messaging, for example. So there's one feature when talking about the IZPZ series I cannot get around, and this is flex code. So what is flex code about? So with the IZPZ2656 and the IZPZ205, uh, the full range from 16 mm diameter disks to linear scales is covered and any diameter in between. So designing a target is quite flexible or flexible at maximum, I'd say. And for mini motors, we do have the IZPZ0974 with a 9 mm disk. So this is an application, the IZPZ really shines. So due to the FlexCode feature I just described, we can build encoder systems from base joint to gripper. 
And then also the BIS interface comes in handy for such application with synchronous position data transfer at high data rates. And of course, due to the reflective sensor technology, you can build very compact, very flat, which is um, quite beneficial for such kinematics application. So summing all of this up, the IZPZ series has that flex code feature on board that allows designing individual targets uh, for individual applications. And we have a high resolution system that resolves 22 bits from a 26 millimeter disk, for example. And then we have a lot of on-chip auto calibration features that are executed on chip. I can't stress this enough. You do not need any external software or hardware. And that allows for really huge assembly tolerances um, that will still result in precise measurement results. So thanks for watching and you're always invited to get in touch.